Hello everyone, my name is Undead Jinx, and welcome back. We are going to be playing The Horoscope. This game is actually um, made by the same people who did um, the test, so I'm assuming it's going to be pretty similar, where we're going to be answering questions, and we're going to be thinking about a lot of things. Now, in order to begin, this is the most important part of this, ex of this entire experience. You will be asked a series of questions, and you must answer them honestly. They have a lot of t a lot of games like this where they're like question based. So, I'm really interested to see how they uh, are gonna p compare, and um, if they're gonna have like similar questions, similar concepts. Now, when I say answer them honestly, I don't mean answer them how you'd like to answer them. Answer them with truth. Even if that's hard to face. We all want a positive outcome. We don't always get what we want. However, what you'll find here may be disturbing. The truths you uncover. Do you want the truth? If you're sure, then continue. The process is very simple in theory. Just answer a long series of questions. You see, as long as you're answering these questions and not and answers, you'll be able to see your own future here. So it does seem to be almost the same, but we have a little bit of a different character back here. As long as the answers you provide to the questions are answered, are asked, are 100% honest and true, this process will simply unlock a part of your mind that you do not have natural access to. Call it natural intuition. A sixth sense, if you will. This is you. This is your own mind. This is simply nature taking its course. This is the human brain working as a defense mechanism. While attempting to answer many of these questions, you'll often wonder things like, well, this answer, answer depends on the circumstances. Yes, that is something I ran into quite a bit during the last three games. Create your own circumstances in your mind and answer the questions with a simple yes or no as you see fit. You may not understand nor realize it, but your mind will develop the situation required to answer your question the way it needs to be answered. Very interesting. I invite you to grab a drink of water, sit back, relax, and enjoy the experience. I am now always prepared with water every time I have to do this. <laughs> every time I play their games. Hydrate. We are about to begin with a series of questions, and provided that you're a willing participant, we will be unlocking some substantial information today. Most likely information that you could regret learning. Ready, set, go. I don't think these questions are going to be as intricate as the third, the third test game, so we'll have to see how this goes. I think this was made before their other games before their test game. Oh, Alice, their name is Alice. Are you afraid of the dark? No. Would you consider yourself to be a loner? Ah, uh, no. Do you ever feel alone even when in a crowd? Are these questions the exact same? They feel like they have the exact same vibe to them. Sometimes, yes. If you knew the date of your best friend's death, would you tell them? <laughs> oh, no, I would tell them if they asked, but if they're not asking, which I am assuming they're not asking, I would not tell them. Have you ever been in a physical fight? Yes. Are you uncomfortable in deep, open water? Yes, I am. Fun story, I went swimming in a lake once, and although the water wasn't very, like, vast or open, it was pretty deep, and my legs kept touching the seaweed, and the seaweed was really high. If you sat in a boat and looked down, you could see the seaweed, and then you could see darkness beyond the seaweed, and that is scary. So yes. Would you give up your friends to become rich and famous? Oh, if you could, would you? Um... No. Because I am assuming here that if I were to become rich and famous, everyone would- My then friends would only want me for my- my dollars. Just like in that one Spongebob episode where Spongebob bought all of his friends. If you looked into a crystal ball and saw that the love of your life was going to hurt you badly, would you leave them? Um... No? 
Because what if it doesn't happen? <laughs> Would you consider yourself to be courageous? Um, I suppose, yes. Would you consider yourself to be a shallow person? No. Although I am five feet tall. Six feet in spirit. Do you fear the unknown? Nah. Does answering a ringing phone give you anxiety? Uh, no. But making phone calls and having to like wait for the other person to like pick up can give me a little bit of anxiety. If you found a suitcase full of money, would you keep it? This happened last time with the forest. Um, yeah, assuming there's no strings attached. <laughs> Does the name John mean anything to you? Um, yeah, I guess. One of my regulars, uh, their name is John, so yeah. <laughs> would you consider yourself to be manic? Sometimes? Not, I'm not always, like, legitimately, I would not always consider myself to be manic, but I have had, like, manic episodes before, I'm sure we all have. Um, but, f okay. Let's say no, because I'm not manic 24-7. Do you get bored easily? Yes and no, it depends on the subject! <laughs> I'll go with yes. <laughs> I'm gonna assume we're talking about school and education. Do you ever take dangerous and unnecessary risks? Yes. Would you consider yourself to be a thrill seeker? Um, I don't know, yes and no. Sometimes I, I like wanna thrill seek and take risks and sometimes I'm like, mm, I would just like to nap all day. <laughs> But we'll go with no, because I, while I do do things like that sometimes, I don't think it's like more often than I don't. When you die, would you like to be cremated? Uh, yes. Do not put me in a casket in the ground, that's taking up space. Would you ever kill an animal under any circumstances? Any circumstances? So... I'd like to say no, but like... Technically, you kill fish when you go fishing, and I have killed fish before by fishing. Uh, but if I was, like, attacked by a bear, I think I could try to fight it. But, eh, the bear would definitely probably off me first. Yeah, would you consider yourself to be romantic? Uh, yeah, when I want to be, what I, I can be. Are you a jealous person? No. Can I get jealous sometimes? Yes. But I don't think I'm- my- my- my life is guided by jealousy. Would you consider yourself to be an empathetic person? <laughs> Me, an empath. Um... Uh, yeah. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Do you like animals more than people? This question's been asked before! No. Are you a virgin? No, this one's new, though. I don't remember that one. This is all very interesting. You know what, Alice? I bet it is. <laughs> I think their name was Alice. It is Alice! Okay. Do you love your mother? Yes. Are we gonna go down the whole family line? We are! We are gonna go down the whole thing. Oh, never mind. Forget about my brother. Who cares about my brother? <laughs> Do you enjoy taking long, relaxing walks? Yes. Oh, yes, I absolutely love Halloween. I love Halloween and I love Christmas. If I could have those, like, every day, I would. Do you believe in a higher power of any kind? I do not. If Satan were watching your every move and knew it, would you feel uncomfortable? Um... No. Because that's not... That's not a, a, a thought that I have on the daily, so I probably wouldn't even think about it. I'd be like, oh, okay, and then I'd forget. <laughs> Do you partake in any form of drug activity? Um, not recently, but if I could, yeah. <laughs> Do you drink alcohol? Sadly. Do you have any sexual fetishes or fantasies that you'd consider bizarre or uncommon? No. Uncommon? Uncommon? What would be uncommon? Oh, I can think of one that's uncommon. Uh, do you thrive under pressure? No. Don't pressure me. <laughs> Don't. If you could end the world with a push of a button, would you do it? This is another question that they asked. I think it was... Uh, the question was... Um, if... If you, there was a button to push... If you could push a button, if there was a button that ended the entire world, and you could push it, would you push it? And that was my thing. And I'm pretty sure I said yes, because I'd want to see if the world actually ended, but... Uh, yeah, sure. If I could... <laughs> end the entire world? The entire Earth? I could kablooey the Earth? <laughs> Do you sometimes hope 
for the cut. This is another question that they already asked, yes. Have you ever killed an animal? Fishing, yes. If you had to resort to cannibalism to survive, would you be able to? Oh, I don't- oh, I already don't eat red meat. To survive, yes. But I would be scared the entire time. I don't want to get the shakes. Do I like guns? No. Do you like knives or other bladed tools or weaponry? Uh, I guess. They can be pretty cool. Do you like blunt objects such as hammers or bats? No, I'm just thinking about my Stardew Valley playthroughs. I don't like to use the hammers or bats. I do like to use the swords. I don't like to use the slingshots. <laughs> do you like aliens? Um, yes, but probably not how most people would. Theoretically, if you had the opportunity to go to space on an alien vessel, would you go? Yeah, in theory. <laughs> if you could leave Earth and go to space, never to return again, would you leave? I don't know. I don't like space all that much. So like, yeah, I'd visit and come back, but would I want to stay there? No. No. Did you know that over 20% of koala bears have chlamydia? Yes, I did actually. That <laughs> wasn't really relevant. Just thought it was interesting. Okay, Alice. Thanks. Oh, I just realized Alice looks fuzzy here, but actually Alice is wearing a mask. Are you outside? I'm wondering. Are we ever really alone? Are we ever really alone? I don't know. No? <laughs> Do you get starstruck easily? Um, I don't think so. And I only say that because A, when I saw Keanu Reeves for the first time in my life, I was not starstruck. I was like, oh my gosh, this guy's walking really fast and my parents want me to take a picture with him, but I can't keep up. Um, and then another time, Norman Reedus was in an elevator with me and I just stood on the other side and I was like, whoa, that's Norman Reedus. And then I kept my mouth shut and then we all went about our business. So I guess I'd go with no. <laughs> Have you ever said a prayer? Uh, yes, I think I have. Do you believe- do you believe in magic? How are they gonna reuse their same questions? No, 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 no shame, but, uh... I- I bought all their games, and I do intend to go through all of the games. But... We're definitely gonna get repeat questions. <laughs> oh wait, I- I selected yes. Okay, I guess I- kinda. <laughs> do you believe in angels? No. Do you believe in demons? Yes. No. <laughs> if you knew you could summon a, de a demon, would you do it? Um, that sounds pretty risky. Huh. Speaking of demons, have you ever played other games rela <laughs> released by random studios such as The Summoning, The Twins, The Test, or perhaps even Naked News? I believe I have all of these games. I think I have every single one of their games. I bought the bundle. I bought the bundle. Um, yes. Maybe this one didn't come out for, or before the test. Maybe the test came out first. I'm gonna have to look it up. But yes. <laughs> oh, Alice. Oh. All right. Now that, <laughs> that shameless plug is over, let us continue. They're hilarious. If you could travel back in time, would you? No, we already talked about this. I don't want to disrupt the butterfly effect or whatever. If you could travel forward in time, would you? No. That seems equally as terrifying. Yes, I love horror movies. Would you consider yourself to be evil? <laughs> no. Would you consider anyone to be evil? <laughs> Looking at my one mutual through the screen. We'll probably never ever see this video. Yeah. You. I'm kidding. Actually, yes. I thinking politically, yes. 1% of the population are sociopaths, which means that out of 100 people that you've encountered in your life, you've met at least one sociopath. Chances are, you speak to a few of them on a daily basis. Did you know that? No, but I think the statistic I do know, it's like one in every 20 people you walk past on the street will have killed a person. I'll have to double check that. I don't know, that's probably not accurate, but it's probably close to being accurate. Do you think that you could potentially be a sociopath? No. 
I think I need to redefine the, the terms of sociopathy versus psychopathy, though, because I do know that I get the two mixed up. It's better to kill than be killed, do you agree? Yes? And do you think that stealing from big corporations is acceptable? Yes. If you don't get caught. <laughs> Are you afraid of anyone in your life? Are we generally speaking or are we getting specific? See, they said the scenarios would get created in my head, but they're just not they're just not creating themselves. It's not working. I'm gonna go with no. Generally, perhaps, do you enjoy gambling? No? I don't think I've ever really gambled. Are you afraid of spiders? Afraid? No, but dude, I don't like spiders. I don't like them. Do you believe in legendary monsters such as Bigfoot or the Loch Ness Monster? No. Do you believe in vampires? Blood-sucking... people? No? But I do wonder where, where all these stories come from. Ah, uh, lycanthropes? Lycanthropes? Are these werewolves? Werewolvesque? Monsters? No? Do you have an addictive personality? I don't know. <laughs> no? I don't know. I don't know what that means. I, <laughs> I, need to, I need to study every single word ever before I do these things. Do you like to cook? Yeah, cooking is fun. Would you say that you're a confident person? Is another one of those sometimes things? Sometimes yes, sometimes no. Um, but I think lately, yes, I've been feeling more confident. Do you think you're physically- Hell yeah. Do you think <laughs> that you'd make a good romantic- Hell yeah. <laughs> do you lie to people on a daily- uh, Do you lie to people on a daily basis? Hell no. Not on a daily basis. Do you suffer from anxiety? I think this was another question that was asked. Um, maybe yes, but not- Diagnosed? No. But I think potentially yes. Do you suffer from depression? Potentially yes, but undiagnosed. Do you exercise daily? I wish. That's a goal of mine. Do you stay hydrated frequently? Yes. Yes, I do. I love my water. Actually, yeah. I, I am afraid of drowning. Weirdly enough. Are you afraid of a home invasion? Yeah. Have you ever broken a bone? No. And that's also scary. <laughs> if a killer were in your house, would you run or fight? Where's the hide option? <laughs> uh, oh, oh, I can't even pick. Yes, I would run or fight. Oh, okay, no, I would hide, but like, yes, I would run or fight. Yeah, I'd probably run. Probably just run. If your house is on fire and you could safely get out, but in order to save your family or pets, you'd have to venture back in and sacrifice your life to save theirs, would you do it? Um... And no, because I know firefighters get upset with you when you do that, so no. And I know they're probably much more qualified to do that than I am. Like, if I went in there, we both might end up dead, like me and my family member. But if a firefighter went in there, my family member has better, odd, has better odds of surviving. Oh. But I don't know if that would guarantee. Never mind. The question is gone. <laughs> If you contracted a fatal, incurable disease that only gave you three years left to live, would you try to pass it on to someone else intentionally? I hadn't even thought about that. No. There's not currently anyone I'd want to, like, annihilate. If you were being haunted by an evil spirit, would you continue to stay in the house? But... I'm the one being haunted. Not the house. So no matter where I go, I'm always going to be haunted. Yes? If I told you that you are currently being haunted by an evil spirit, would you believe me? Nah. Is money one of your favorite things? Um. No, I wouldn't say favorite. It's nice to have. Yes, I do like quiet, relaxing music. Do you enjoy loud, aggressive music? I do, but only when it's 
at a low volume. Like, I listen to rock and, and metal. <laughs> are you afraid of dolls? No, not afraid, but are they creepy? Yes. Once bitten, twice shy. Do you agree with this? I don't know what this means. I don't know what this means. <laughs> what? Ugh. What does this mean? Okay. Once bitten, twice shy meaning. Well, that's not it. Definition of once bitten, twice shy. Used to mean that a person who has failed or been hurt when trying to do something is careful or feel fearful about doing it again. Yes, I guess. I guess I would agree. I mean, like, when I accidentally... And, like, if you touch a stove that's hot, you know not to touch the stove again or else you might get burnt. So, yeah. Do you believe in love at first sight? Uh, no. Yes. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I guess. Do you believe in the ideal of soulmates? Yes. Have you ever had a one night stand? N no. Do you have a sweet tooth? No, but I do have a savory tooth. Do, we, do you enjoy a bit of drama and chaos in life to keep things interesting once in a while? No. That is so draining. Do you like fire? Absolutely not. Is there anything that you're passionate about in life? Yes. Would you consider yourself to be a gentle person? I suppose, yeah. Are you afraid of conflict? Um... Yes, but I, I am working on that. I am working on that. Have any of these questions made you nervous? Um, not yet, but I'm kind of nervous about the nun question. <laughs> Is that gonna be something that we find in every game? So far, no. Are you feeling relaxed at this moment? No, but that is because I am freezing cold. I am freezing cold. Do you think anyone hates you? Uh, probably. Do you hate anyone in particular? No. Are you prone to holding grudges? No. Ain't nobody got time. Forgive but never forget. Do you agree with this statement? Yes. Everything happens for a reason. Do you agree with this statement? Yes. <laughs> Do you like explosions? <laughs> no? Do you enjoy the smell of burning firewood? Yes. But I don't like the fire. I don't I don't like being near fire. Are you afraid of flying? No. However, I am afraid of <laughs> crashing. Are you afraid of driving? Not afraid, but does it make me anxious? Yes. Do you think that war between nations is healthy? No. I don't think it's all that relevant. Would you consider yourself to be open-minded? Yes. Like, why are we being barbaric? Do you ever dream about being chased? Yes, those are the scariest dreams. Do you ever dream about hurting someone else? I don't think so. Would you consider yourself to be a violent person? No. If I were to tell you that hell is coming for you, <laughs> would you know what I meant? Um... I guess, yes. Chaos? I get nothing particular in my life, though, but it feels- that feels like a very chaotic statement, so... I assume chaos would come into my life. If your answers to these questions could supernaturally predict your potential fate, would you believe it, and use it as a cautionary procedure to change your future and save your own life? Uh, yeah, sure. If it's- if it feels that way, if that's the vibe I get, then yeah, I guess. Would you- Consider yourself to be incredibly self-aware. In what sense? Because, <laughs> like, I think I am very self-aware of, of certain things that I do, but not other things. I'll go with no, because yes, but not incredibly self-aware. If I told you that mirrors were a gateway to another realm, would you believe me? No, but that is interesting. Can you feel someone watching you right now? No. Can you hear the whispers yet? No, I don't want to hear them. I don't want to hear them. Do you feel cold? Yes, I'm freezing. 
Do you feel uneasy? No, just cold. <laughs> Do you feel like some like something is coming? I know the morning is coming. Something? Yes, but someone? No. If something were coming, do you have a good idea? Yeah, I think the morning is coming. A pretty solid, solid idea. Do you enjoy the taste of blood? No, I've had it before. Like, you ever get a cut and you suck on it? Because that's what your parents told you to do when you were younger? It just tastes like salt. Would you rather bleed out than... Oh, I don't want either of those things. I don't like fire. I don't want to bleed out. That sounds so torturous. It's torturous either way. But yeah, I guess I'd rather bleed out. Would you help your best friend cover up a murder they committed? Oh, man. Sorry to say, I'm gonna have to go with no on this one. <laughs> Do you think about death often? No. Do you think you'd survive if you had to fight off a pack of wolves or handed? No. Uh, I'd be dinner. Would you stay overnight in a haunted house by yourself if someone dared you to do it? No. But would I stay overnight in a haunted house with other people? Yeah, I would do that. Just not alone. If someone were trying to kill you, do you think you could take their life if you had to? No, but... Mostly because I don't think, like, it would even get that far. They might get me before I get them. <laughs> If your mother turned into a zombie, do you think you'd have what it takes to put her down? Yes. I would assume that my years of watching zombie movies would prepare me for that situation. If there's a hell, do you think you're going there? I'm already here! Hell is on Earth! Um... I mean... But no. <laughs> have you ever attempted to contact spirits? Mm, yeah. Yes. Yes. Have you ever had a sudden urge to jump in front of a car? Yes, that call to the void, I know it well. Have you ever had a sudden urge to push someone in front of a car? Uh, no, but I have felt that with trains. But, uh, you just don't act on those weird impulses. If you were witness to a murder and the killer threatened you, if you told anyone, would you go to the police? Um, yeah, what's the worst that could happen? I die? I die. Have you ever seen a ghost or anything supernatural that you couldn't explain? Yes. Would you come back as a ghost? Oh, if you came back as a ghost, would you choose to haunt someone and make their life hell? Oh, you see, we've been through this question too on the other one with the, 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 the person who murdered you. And then like haunting them or helping your family. If you could make a deal. <laughs> Ah, more deals with the devil, huh? We've been through this. My soul is soul, so no. If someone were hiding in your room right now and I told you exactly where they were, would you go and check? Nope, that's none of my business. <laughs> Are you concerned that someone might be hiding in your room currently? No. Do you ever worry that someone might be living in your house without your knowledge? Yes. Things go missing and you're like, huh? Oh? Huh? Oh? Are you afraid of leaving your feet? To hang off the edge of the bed to sleep at night, yes. But interestingly enough, my bed is so close to the floor that, like, no one could crawl underneath it. So it's a really weird, like, irrational thought to have. Have your feet ever been pulled while you've been sleeping? No, I sure hope not. Have you ever felt like you were falling only to suddenly wake from sleep? Yes. Do you realize that you might be incredibly fucked up? I mean, I guess. Maybe. If you were crazy, you wouldn't know you were crazy, do you understand? Oh yes. So are you saying I'm not crazy? If you could read people's minds and know exactly what everyone was thinking at all times, would you allow yourself that power? No, I've thought about it too. When people ask me what my favorite, like, what superpower I would give myself if I could, like, have one. Intuitive aptitude, that's the one I would get. Um, but mind reading? And no, because I don't want to know what's going on in people's heads. And I don't want to know what they think about me. I don't care to know what they think about me. And I don't care to hear the weird thoughts they have either. So no. If you could rob a bank and get away with it, would you do it? Yeah, sure. If you could turn invisible, would you spy on people? No. But would I rob a bank? Yeah. <laughs> That'd be easy to do invisible. We need to do this question also. Uh, no, I am not afraid of death. 
Does the thought that there might be nothing after the hour life bother you? No. Oh, I almost hit yes. Does the thought that there might be an afterlife bother you? No? Are you afraid of being abandoned? I suppose. Meh. Dying alone, afraid of that? No. Are you afraid of being lied to by the ones that you love? No, not afraid. Do you think the ones around you would betray you? The ones around me? It doesn't even specify loved ones. So this is just people in my life in general. Uh, yes, I do think that is a possibility. Do you have a hard time trusting people? I don't think so. Do you feel alone in a crowd? I, Alice, we did this question already. <laughs> Are we just gonna circle back to the questions? Um, sometimes, yes. Do you feel like you understand others fairly well, but others have a difficult time understanding you? To a degree, yeah. Do you feel slightly more comfortable at this point? Yeah, I guess, but I'm still freezing cold. Do you feel safe? Yes. Do you feel like you could be easily fooled by loved ones? No, not easily fooled. Do you enjoy being dominated? Ooh. I... no. Do you enjoy dominating other people? No. If you could live like royalty, would you? Yeah, that sounds fun. That sounds like a fun thing to do. <laughs> if you could travel anywhere in the world once, instantly and for free, but you may never return to that particular place again once, in, once you left. Wait. Oh, would you do it? Oh, yeah. For free? Yeah. Instantly? Yeah. Do you live in time travel? No. Until it's proven. Do you think that aliens could potentially be humans from the future just traveling back in time for various reasons? No, I never thought about that. Would you choose to sleep inside of a coffin? No, but I have on, uh, in The Sims. <laughs> but that seems really uncomfortable. If you had to chop off one of your hands or feet to escape from a killer, would you do it? Don't think I would have that in me. Does the sight of blood make you feel squeamish? No. If you knew a doll was haunted, would you buy it? No. Would you consider yourself to be superstitious? Not really. Oh, just a little stitious. <laughs> yes, I guess. I'm not even sorry, that reference was worth it. Hilarious. Does the thought of being put in a straitjacket make you feel uncomfortable? Yes. I don't want my hands restricted or my arms. Would you ever walk? Oh, would you ever walked through a graveyard just for fun? Would you ever walked? Would you ever walked through? Walked. Would you ever walk through a graveyard just for fun? Yes. Would you try human flesh to see what it tastes like? No, I've been told it tastes like pig, and I don't care to eat that. I don't need to eat people, I guess, unless I'm in a survival situation. Do you believe in voodoo? No. If I told you that there's a voodoo doll that looks just like you hanging in a tree somewhere near your house, would that make you feel uncomfortable? No. Maybe it's because I know this is a game and that wouldn't make me very uncomfortable. Do you get uncomfortable on Friday the 13th? No. Do you ever worry that you're being followed? Are you afraid of sharks? No, but I bet they're afraid of me. Humans are more dangerous than any other animal, do you agree? Um, yes, but I say that only because other animals don't, like, heal each other. Like, we have doctors. Like, that's wild. We have doctors that will heal you and, like, res restore your health, basically, just like in video games. Um... And until animals start doing that, I think humans have got to be the most dangerous ones so far. But yes. Would you consider yourself to be a dangerous person? Nope. Would you rather choose the death penalty over living the rest of your life in a cell? I don't know. I mean... I'm in a cell. Am I in a Swedish cell? Because if that's a Swedish cell, then sh no, but America? Probably yes. Yeah. If I told you that there was a secret message hidden throughout the last hundred or so questions, would you believe me? There's been a hundred questions already? Um, yes, I would believe it because that's what happened in the other one. 
So what happened in the test? Do you believe that you might be in danger from a supernatural force? No. Would you consider yourself to be mentally stable? I suppose. Would you trust your best friend to be alone with your lover? Yes, but I don't even have a lover. Would you trust yourself to be alone with your best friend's lover? Yes. If you could leave this life behind and live one of your wildest dreams, never to return to this current time again, would you do it? No, I feel like I'm living a, a pretty solid life that I currently am enjoying. Do you have a specific goal in life that you're determined to achieve? Yes. Would you say that you sometimes lack motivation? Also, yes. If someone attacked you, would you attack them back? Um, no, I'd probably run away. Are you sure? <laughs> Are you sure that the life you're living is real and not just a frig figment of your imagination or some crazy in-depth dream? I am very sure but this seems like a very dangerous question to ask people if you woke up right now and realized that everything you knew of this life was a dream that your actual life is and everyone in it was entirely different would you be disappointed with that outcome another very very dangerous person uh, question that could uh potentially trigger some people but uh Maybe I would be disappointed, yes, if I found out I wasn't living my own life. If you could win the lottery, but you would only have seven years to live, would you take the money? Yeah, sure. Now, for the final most important question. Are we sure this is the final question? I want you to really think about this one and answer honestly. Okay, Alice. Take your time. Don't answer too quickly. Really think about it. Got it? Got it, Alice. Are you happy? This was another question, and I feel confident in my answer when I select yes. This is all very interesting. I'm going to turn your results into the fear machine and let it decide whether or not it wants to reveal your potential fate. Okay, Alice. I will be taking my leave now, but it was nice getting to know you intimately. I will see you soon. Hopefully not too soon. I think we have enough information about you. Whether you skipped questions, answered honestly or dishonestly, took loads of time to respond, or answered quickly without reading or understanding properly, I've been able to tell. I'm calculating your results. I'm analyzing you very carefully. I'm judging you. Based on what you've told me, let me tell you what I see. I see something. Something hiding. Was that it? I see you. I see you in a bathroom. You're in your own little world. Completely oblivious to your surroundings. There's someone hiding nearby. You just don't know that they're in your home. They've been hiding for a while, perhaps even hours, completely unnoticed. They're listening to you. Oh, they've listened to you, watched you, stalked you. They've seen you in the kitchen. They've seen you in your room. I swear, if there's a jump scare coming up, I'm gonna... I'm gonna scream. You didn't know they were there, but you could have sworn you heard things. You're by yourself tonight, at least. You're supposed to be. Once you're in the bathroom, they strike. They catch you completely off guard. I see. Blood. So much blood. Puddles and puddles of crimson. Warm, flowing crimson. Cuts. So many cuts. Snips, as if severed with shears. Pieces of flesh removed from bone. Trophies. Materials for something that I, for that I read too fast and clicked too fast. There's still hope, though. There's a way to stay safe, but it's entirely up to you. Keep the door locked. All of the doors. They will try to enter the home three times. After the third failed attempt, they move on to someone else. They're very silent. Very patient. They're an opportunist and they'll wait for the right time. They'll sneak in as soon as you turn away from an unlocked door. They will also try entering through windows. If they already managed to get in, then search thoroughly. Check on both of They love closets. <laughs> on the third day of the week, the hour of 11. This is all I can see. Good luck. Please don't mind me while I take a picture of this really quickly. Okay, 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 okay. I will confide in the people I know and trust in my life about this situation. Your secret word is intruder. Remember this word, this will come in handy. Well. Huh! 
same thing as always. <sighs> Don't be afraid. This is an opportunity for you to be a part of history. Ah, uh, yes. 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 Um, absolutely loving this. Loving this so much. Because I currently already have a fear of, um, of, um, intruders and whatnot. I, I lock my door everywhere I go because I'm scared of it, like, legitimately. Oh my gosh. Oh, <laughs> okay. Psychological simulator? The twins, horror, summoning horror. Naked news comedy! That'll be a fun one. Fun one that won't scare me, oh my gosh. Oh, oh the horoscope, as in, like, what's the word? What's the word? I should have known. I should have known. Like, uh, um... So, like, you know, like, your horoscope, like, with astrology and stuff? That's like that, but the horror version. I should have known. Of course, none of what they said is probably gonna happen. Like, it's probably all just made up based on my answers. Um, but this was really fun. I liked how short it was, because the last one we did was pretty long. Um, short and sweet, and I liked the little, the little twist at the end. Um, a little bit of horror, and I definitely wonder, uh, you guys, if you've played this game and you got a different ending, tell me all about it in the comments, please. I'm curious. I want to know. Um, but I will have a link to this game in the description below. You can get it on Steam. Uh, yeah. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this game as much as I did. Um, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye!